Some animals are dopey and lovable, like Labradors, but other animals? Others are the animal kingdom's equivalent of those men who wear sunglasses and walk away from explosions. These are the most badass animals in the world. Number 15. Cats versus Snakes Few things are a match for a snake. They can take down animals much larger than them, including deer. There have even been instances of them devouring crocs. So you might think that a regular household magi is no match for a large snake. Well, you'd be wrong. Of course, a massive 20-foot snake is gonna win a battle with a domestic cat, but smaller snakes may actually be in trouble. For some reason, cats living in areas with snake populations love nothing more than playing with and eventually taking down snakes. They love how they move, and they also see snakes as threats. Given how wily cats can be, they have the reflexes necessary to take a snake by surprise. Believe it or not, there have even been instances of cats killing snakes. For example, in 1894, there was a detailed case of a cat in southern New Jersey going into the woods and dragging home snakes of various species up to four feet long. It would then proceed to eat them. We don't know what we should fear more, snakes or mittens the house cat. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Mongoose versus Lion a marsh mongoose may be a small animal, but it is definitely not one to mess with. Especially when you watch footage of one being able to defend itself against not one, not two, but four African lions. The strangest part? It came out of the battle relatively unscathed. In 2011, wildlife photographer Jerome Guillemot captured some amazing footage in the Maasai Mara National Reserve of Kenya. Four young African lions circled a marsh mongoose, probably expecting it not to put up much of a fight. But those lions got more than they bargained for when the mongoose proceeded to chase after and try and attack each of the four lions, who looked more than a little confused and curious. The mongoose would retreat to its den, then chase after the lions to move them away from its territory. Animal experts believe it may have had babies in its den and was fighting to keep them safe. Regardless of the reason though, you won't find too many examples of four lions missing out on dinner because a single mongoose scared them away. Number 13. Honey Badger vs. Hyena Honey badgers look cute and innocent. With enough time, you may even think you could domesticate them like you would a cat or dog. But the more you learn about the honey badger, the more you come to realize that it's not an animal to mess with. What's more, when put up against an animal like a hyena, it's one that has every chance of coming out on top. Given that they're only small, you may think we're all tall. <laughs> But what if we were to tell you that they've been known to attack lions, hyenas, and other similarly sized animals? Honey badgers have a high metabolism, which means they can hunt day and night and relentlessly. An animal's more likely to give up and become a honey badger's dinner than it is to outrun one. They also aren't picky and will eat anything from a scorpion, bird, or mouse through to a buffalo or buck. They're also remarkably determined. Stoffel, a honey badger from the Moholo Holo Rehab Center in Limpopo, managed to claw his his way out of an enclosure with an electric fence to attack lions. So in a honey badger versus hyena battle, there's every reason to believe this tiny critter could actually win. Number 12. Giraffe versus Lion Lions are known to be tough, strong, fierce animals that you would never want to get on the wrong side of. 
But as it turns out, the giraffe is probably an animal we should fear more. Not only can they win in a fight against a lion, but one kick from a giraffe can see one meeting its maker. The most obvious defense mechanism a giraffe has, of course, is its height. They stand at heights of up to 20 feet tall, which means a lion has a lot of climbing to do to get even close to combating them. Given that most lions aim for the neck to bring down their prey, they've got their work cut out for them where a giraffe is concerned. I mean, have you seen the length of their necks? Giraffes also minimize their chances of becoming prey by sleeping, standing up, or sitting down. They will also sleep for no more than 5 minutes at a time and for around 30 minutes per day. In the footage captured of a pride of lions trying to bring down a giraffe, they certainly had very little luck. The giraffe casually walked around with the lion on its back, while the rest of the pride tried to attack the giraffe's legs. After five hours, they admitted defeat, and the giraffe carried on with its business. Number 11. Skunk vs. Dog Skunks may only be at most 19 inches long, but don't let their size fool you. You may have the largest dog in the world, but they would still lose in a fight against a skunk. We probably don't need to tell you why, either. Well, we will anyway. They stink. Skunks have sacs in their anuses that house a foul-smelling yellow oil secretion. When they feel threatened, they use that secretion as a defense mechanism. They can eject it up to 15 feet away. If you find that you or your furry friend are sprayed by a skunk, then you're in for a rough road ahead. It can cause nausea and vomiting if you or your dog swallow it, and it can feel like tear gas if you get it in your eyes. But even if your dog avoids getting it on their face, but on their body instead, you're not out of the woods. Its oily composition means it clings to all surfaces. It can even get smellier when mixed with water. So to get rid of the odor, the goal is not so much to remove the spray as it is to neutralize it. You can do this with hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish detergent. The hydrogen peroxide and baking soda are oxidizing agents, while the dish detergent can break through the oil. Number 10. Hippo vs. Crocodile Have you ever wondered who would win in a fight, a hippo or a crocodile? Both are quite large predators that could easily kill a human. But if they went up against each other, you may find it quite hard to pick a gold medalist. They can both live in the same river, but we wouldn't go so far as to say they live harmoniously together. In fact, the hippo can be quite a frustrating roommate. A crocodile could be minding its own business, trying to attack an antelope, zebra, or wildebeest crossing the river, when next thing you know, the hippo sees its opportunity to eat, and the crocodile's prey gets away. Then, that same crocodile is now in the hippo's sights. Because they have such large teeth and an even larger mouth, a crocodile is actually no match for a hippo. We know as much from the Hasbro game Hungry Hungry Hippos. The crocodile may have a thick armor, but a hippo's teeth can go right through it like a knife through hot butter. Even if a crocodile does manage to score a snack, the hippo will guard the remains because of their territorial nature. Number 9. Wolves vs. Bear Bears have size, and wolves have wiliness, speed, and agility. So it can be really hard to tell who would come out on top in a wolf vs. bear battle. As it turns out, both stand a good chance of winning, but having cubs certainly helps put your struggle into perspective. If a mama bear loses her life, her babies lose their mama. So she definitely has a lot to lose. Wildlife adventure company Yellowstone Wolf Tracker shared a photo on Facebook recorded by wildlife guide Taylor Bland. The video showed an encounter between a pack of wolves and a mother bear with her cubs. 
Initially, all seemed lost. The bear and her cubs were being chased down by the wolves, which then began to surround them. The cubs huddled behind their mother while she attempted to fend off the wolves. She then runs towards the wolves, which try and get close to her cubs. She keeps running at them, fending off their attacks. Even though there's just one bear capable of fighting, she manages to fend off the wolves attack and saves her babies. Number 8. Rabbit vs. Cat Remember the animated show Tom and Jerry? A cat and mouse are rivals, and no one expects anything different. The same rivalry exists between cats and dogs, but one animal the two share in common is the rabbit. Both dogs and cats see rabbits as prey, which means in a battle between a rabbit and a cat, the cat would likely win. But there are gonna be occasions where that rivalry doesn't exist. Did you know cats and dogs can live in harmony with rabbits? Just like you would introduce a cat gently into a household with a dog or vice versa, you can do the same with a rabbit. Two essential things to have when trying to pull off this difficult feat is making sure the rabbit has a secure enclosure and your home has a neutral space for both. Having visual access to each other can be essential for getting each animal used to each other. And while you might think it's only your cat or dog you have to worry about, you might be surprised to learn that rabbits can hold their own pretty well. They can be far more territorial than cats and will defend themselves with kicks and bites that can injure a cat. Number 7. Eagle vs. Snake There's a reason why around 51% of the world's population is scared of snakes. They aren't exactly cute or cuddly critters. But maybe we should be more afraid of eagles. Because in an eagle vs. snake battle, the eagle would likely come out on top. Eagles are birds of prey and are considered some of the fiercest killers in the bird world. That's probably why they've been symbols of war and power for centuries. They can weigh up to 13.8 pounds, measure up to 3.2 feet long, and travel at speeds of up to 74 miles per hour. You don't see a snake doing that, do you? Eagles also have exceptionally powerful eyesight, which means they can spot even a well-camouflaged snake while flying above. They will then use their sharp talons and curved beaks to capture their prey. A snake's primary defense mechanisms are their venom and constriction. When they're faced with a threat that can fly, they're unlikely to be able to use these defense mechanisms very well, or at all. So it's a no-brainer. An eagle is way more badass than a snake. Number 6. Gorilla vs. Leopard When you put a gorilla and a leopard side by side, a clear winner may not emerge. It's definitely hard to tell who would be the most badass animal in the world. While the leopard has speed, agility, and stealth, the gorilla has the size, bite force, and strength. So they're on a pretty even field, which makes it challenging to know who could beat who. Gorillas are the largest ape and weigh up to around 350 pounds. They also have a bite force of between 1,000 and 1,400 PSI. In contrast, a leopard's is only around 470 PSI. With such powerful arms, a gorilla would only have to take one swing to break a leopard's spine. On the intelligence front, gorillas are far smarter than leopards as well. But don't be in too much of a hurry to crown the gorilla as the champion yet. Leopards are stealthy, fast, and have exceptional claws and jaws. They can also see well in total darkness, whereas the gorilla cannot. A leopard can easily launch an attack on a gorilla while it's sleeping to get the upper hand. In different circumstances, both of these animals are pretty badass. Number 5. Seal vs. Shark 
The hunted has become the hunter, and we're not at all upset about it. We always thought seals got the raw end of the stick in the animal kingdom, so now they're fighting back against that injustice. In the African Journal of Marine Science, it was noted that seals have been killing and eating sharks in coastal waters of Cape Town in South Africa. Great white shark expert Chris Fallows said that Cape fur seals love the taste of internal organs, so blue sharks were definitely on the menu. Chris led a shark dive in 2012 around 20 nautical miles from Cape Point, which is a peninsula curving out from Cape Town. They observed 10 blue sharks circling a 4.5 foot long Cape fur seal, which started attacking the sharks. Fortunately, Chris captured the moment on camera, otherwise most people probably wouldn't believe him. It managed to eat five of the 10 sharks, when typically a Cape fur seal would only eat crabs, fish, squid, and the occasional baby shark. Surprisingly, Chris had seen something similar happen before when a young seal caught a blue shark, tossed it into the air, then ate its stomach and liver. Number 4. Rat vs. Crab a phobia of rats and mice is one of the more common phobias. After all, no one likes to see those little critters scuttling through their home unannounced. Rats and mice that visit your home tend to be quite large, but possibly nothing like those that feast on crabs discovered around the Western Andes in southern Ecuador. If a crab had to go up against this crab-eating rat, they would definitely come out second best. The crab-eating rat is, in a word, badass. They have thick whiskers and hairy, long legs and a varied diet of fish, shrimp, isopods, cockroaches, and crabs. They can venture out during the night or day, which means crabs never know when they're about to meet their maker. What a way to live. This rat is one of two new species discovered in recent years. The second type of crab-eating rat is smaller with a bicolored tail, fringed hind feet, and a broad face with long teeth. It doesn't matter which rat that crabs come face to face with, they're unlikely to make it out of the scuffle alive. Number 3. Woodpecker vs. Squirrel Humans don't really remember what it was like to have to work for food, or fight for it. We're long past our caveman days, that's for sure. But in the animal kingdom, there is still a battle raging for survival. Only the most badass animal will get fed, while the loser will end up going home hungry, or not at all. Scotland resident Karen Crawford managed to capture some amazing footage of a red squirrel and woodpecker arguing over some nuts she had put out for the squirrel in a forest near the Johnsfield settlement in Scotland. The squirrel tried to tuck into the delicious treats, but a woodpecker spotted them and tried to take them for itself. It then became aggressive with the squirrel in the hopes that it would back down. The woodpecker dined on the nuts of the side of the tree stump while the squirrel tried to get some nuts from the other side. Eventually, though, the squirrel had to admit defeat, but not before raising its paw to the woodpecker that had its mouth wide open. Number 2. Snake vs. Crocodile Snakes are not fussy when it comes to what they eat. When they're hungry, they'll basically eat whatever they see first. Apparently, it doesn't even matter if what it sees first is much larger than it. Well, at least that was the case in northern Queensland in 2014. At Lake Mundara near Mount Issa, a woman photographed a battle raging between a crocodile and a snake. The 10-foot snake, which was thought to be a python, wrapped itself around the croc in the water. The pair struggled before the snake eventually dragged a now-dead crocodile to the shore. Local author Tiffany Corliss captured the whole thing in photos. She said the snake would roll the crocodile to get a better grip, and even wrapped itself around the croc's legs to stop it getting away. Once it brought the dead croc to the shore, it started to eat it face first. It managed to consume the entire crocodile in just 15 minutes. 
It goes without saying that snakes are pretty badass. They have flexible jaws that allow them to swallow food much larger than them. They also constrict their prey to suffocate it or cause it to have heart failure. Number 1. Cats versus Dogs Ask a cat lover whether a cat or a dog is more badass, and they would say the cat is. But ask a dog lover, and they will say dogs are. As it turns out, both cats and dogs can be, but they excel in different areas. In a cat versus dog battle of hunting, both can come out the victors. Cats will hunt a mouse that's roaming around your house, but might be less inclined to do so if you feed it well. Dogs also have the ability to hunt, but only if you ask them to. Both cats and dogs' affection levels can differ depending on their breed, personality, and how much care you give them. Dogs will love you if you treat them properly, but cats will love you on their own terms. Cats also don't mind being left alone and tend to prefer it, but dogs can be a little needier. They are pack animals and can wait at the door all day for you to return. Even who wins in a fight isn't clear-cut, for it can depend on the animal's personality. Some dogs will easily win a battle against a cat, but some are scared of cats. When brought up correctly, you can own both cats and dogs that will coexist peacefully. When you see two different species battle it out, it's not uncommon to be entirely stunned by the outcome. Some of the animal kingdom's strongest animals are taken down by those much weaker or smaller than them. Have you seen a surprising battle between two animals? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!